Okay, so I'm back and before the video starts, it's greatly appreciated when you interact, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so this video is going to be kind of long, y'all, kind of long. It's a lot of reading. So first, um, we have some old bad girls, right? We have Jazz Monet and Lyric. Now, Jazz Monet, she is from season 11, and then Lyric, she's from season 2. Now, with them two, there's other bad girls. Flo, I remember Flo. If, if she's the person that's in my head, I'm pretty sure. Did she fight Natalie at a reunion? Like, was that her? If that is her, I remember her. Uh, I think we have Megan. We all remember Megan. Uh, we have Judy. We all remember Judy. Okay, so to start, Jazz Monet and Lyric, they be doing these Instagram lives talking about Zeus baddies, right? Uh, one of the lives, uh, someone said Roly got pepper sprayed and he was there. And then I'm going to show y'all, like, their other lives. So here that go. But the San Francisco shit, I was actually present for that. I saw when the whole shit So what happened? happened? Security is holding Santa back or whatever uh, from, like, I guess, uh, attempting to pull her back, quote unquote. Tommy's giving her the issue and one of, one of Santa's girls jumped in. Then Rolly and the rest got pepper sprayed. What? Yes, by police. What? Rolly? They that, like is this why she fed up? That's why she fed up. That's why she fed up. I had it up to here with these mm -hmm. bitches. And also, what the so, fuck? They pepper sprayed Rolly? Yes, and also, um, I hope they guarded on camera when Rolly's dragging um, Sunny Girls, like, you know, assistant Ooh. out of her bed. Rush? I would not no. want that bitch to drag me out with nothing, yo. <laughs> no, it was, some, it was some, some petty shit, though. It was some, some petty shit, though. Um, and this was after Rolly already, already was. Oh, my friend, I Rolly got in that bus trying to, like, you know, lay down. Because, like, you know, fuck, they pepper sprayed me, right? But, no, she, uh, the other bitch didn't want to get out. So, Rolly got her up. See what happened to Low Head? She looked like she just got her shit snatched. And then the girl knocked the, the Botox all over her head. That was fucked up. Like, she put That's money into that shit. I'm serious. They were only paying them like twenty thousand dollars to join the cast. Zeus could never get me because twenty bands ain't enough for me, bitch. Who are trending? No, that's you. <laughs> well, I I did see some things they were talking about BGC and how BGC wasn't. I don't I'm know. just I, I really calling don't us know. flops. Like, like I don't like I them calling us flops. I don't like them calling us has beens or saying that we did this or we did that. Like, yeah, duh. Duh. Like, are you mad that you didn't get a piece of it? That's so weird. Duh. Like people who yeah. donated and did, did they shit like Yeah. Was, was My on. thing is like and then get mad when we when we review what they're doing. Like, bitch, we can review what y'all doing just like how y'all reviewed our season. Like, I don't understand that. Like, bitch, I'm a journalist now. Like, I have a podcast. Like, bitch, I can review whatever the fuck I want. Y'all not at Wendy <laughs> Williams' neck. Y'all not at Jenny Jones' neck. Y'all don't be coming for Maury. So why y'all coming for me? I can review people. I can do what I, I can say what I want to say about a franchise that I had a piece of. Now, it would have been something different if I didn't have no experience in reality TV and I'm trying to just speak up on it. It's like it's okay for everyone else to do it. But when you, we do, do it, know, you stay, through, you stay yo, the whole shit. and still get backlash to this day, like still get talked too crazy. Like, but you know what? She got it. She wanted to, they want to be a part of the Bad Girls Club so bad until you get a piece of that fandom. And you see what BGC franchise fandom is really like. They don't they don't hold back. Y'all thought we were crazy? Our fans are even crazier. Now, with them talking about baddies and stuff, they getting a lot of backlash. Like, oh, y'all old, y'all washed up, no one really remember y'all, blah, blah, blah. And Flo, she has something to say about it. So she said, for those saying the most irrelevant girls, you are actually not seeing that those first girls paved the way for these so-called more popular girls. You forget the time we all first came out, the internet wasn't this wide. And they are still known. Today, you can stream anything anywhere. We did it the old school way. People found out through word of mouth. So respect the OGs whether you think they are irrelevant or not. They paved the way. First of all, facts. They are irrelevant. Like, no one's talking about them. But they did pave a way. But can, can y'all imagine if we... Uh, use the internet and Instagram and stuff like we do now back then when Bad Girls Club was on. These girls will really be popping right now. Like, think about the huge internet beefs that will happen after every episode, like how baddies is with them. What? I will be entertained all day.
Like, do you know how many clips go viral on Twitter and TikTok on the daily basis with them joints back then? <laughs> oh my God, the internet would have made a Bad Girls Club way more funnier than what it was. But it, it still was hilarious, if you ask me. Question, did the Bad Girls Club play, play a, um, a big part in y'all lives? Like, faithfully, every... What day did Bad Girls Club come on? Tuesday? Tuesday or Wednesday? But was y'all waiting every Tuesday for a new episode or Wednesday? Whichever one it was on. I'm sorry. Uh, I could go on all day. But Flo, she also said, and I could tell you, Bad Girls Club screwed every Bad Girls. Uh, please don't believe the hype. The only way any of us got that bag is by getting it our effing selves. That network used all of them and still doing it on Zeus. So stop assuming you know when you don't. You only see what they show you. Behind the scenes is a whole different story. F out of here. But then Slim from Baddies, she put her two cents in it, right? She said, BGC was 10 to 15 years ago. Us, new generation, is making reality TV today. It's making y'all still be talked about. I'm going to be respectful as possible, but trust me, nobody checking for no old uh, BGC girls besides Zeus slash Natalie. And y'all lucky she even doing this. It helps y'all, regardless if y'all want to own it or don't. Y'all are the only OGs in age. Y'all not making no noise no more, though. Natalie actually is. And she got y'all talking about the same old stuff. Now Zeus is like oxygen. Um, Like, come on, let the rest flow. I love you. Always been a fan, but why you still on this? Move on. Mm, I, I, there's definitely still some people that was on Bad Girls Club that is relevant today besides Natalie, in my opinion. And I mean, without Zeus, like Megan, she goes viral like every two weeks. Ain't she viral right now uh, with her podcast? Like, she's pretty funny. Now, is there any more that go viral that didn't need Zeus? I can't think of them off my head, like, real quick. But if it is, can y'all, like, say some of the names? Now, I got all of it from Kiki's godmother. I wanted to get everything from one blog so I could be as in order as possible. Now, next is Jazz Monet. She said... The craziest thing is that with or without Miss Nunn and Zeus, we would still be talked about and checked for. Hence why all BGC seasons are on Hulu, Peacock, Amazon, and Oxygen. While y'all struggling to be remembered on Zeus, uh, but go off. Uh, hmm. <laughs> then Stunner Girls, no, Slim. Can y'all imagine Stunner Girl and Slim on the same season? That would be crazy. But Slim said, girl, who are you? One of the least memorable uh, BGC girls. Girl, pipe it down and relax. You ain't even worth the conversation. I don't even know you, mama. Flo responds to Slim and she said, The fact that someone is mentioning me and I have literally no clue who she is, that tells you all you need to know about them, girl. Bye. Then she said, Hold the hell up. Who is this girl? She's Slim. <laughs> what? Then Judy, she said, yo, I'm living. And then she said, are these girls delusional? Now, Judy, in my opinion, did she stay relevant? No, but I will say it was on and off. Also, Judy know how to start a conversation when it comes to, like, the viewers and the fans. I will give her that. Very entertaining if you ask me. Slim, she responded to Judy. She said, girl, go worry about why you pulling up to church drunk with your ass out. Please don't worry about little old me. I got a reasonable question, though, for every last one of y'all BGC ladies. If we're so delusional... Why show any uh, former Zeus member any attention? Ha, 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 make it make sense. Now, when she said Judy showed up to church drunk and with her ass out, this is the video she's talking about. I came to church I, I today, and guess what? Her church hat is bigger than her shorts. <laughs> Judy, what are, these, what are those shorts in the church? Happy Easter. So, Judy responded, and I'm not going to lie, she kind of pissed me off because why would you ever type this much? Go live next time. Like, goddamn, why type this much? Judy said, Slim, a nobody. I'm still working 12 years after my debut. My iconic debut at that. I See, Judy sees that I remember. You, like the cereal, you, her getting her ass beat. Anyway, let's continue. People still dress as me for Halloween to this day. Do they? They do? Um, Slim, you will never know what it feels like to be that iconic. I can't quote one thing you said on the show because for one, I don't want the Zeus. Two, uh, you never saw nothing from the pay to post clips I saw. I'm guessing she's talking about um the blogs. I only saw you getting dragged for saying the N-word. What the fuck? Um, I don't consider myself a Zeus member. I am a pop culture icon from the blueprint. A BGC star. You could never. I walked off baddies. That platform was giving birds like you the audacity. 
And I wasn't even drunk. But even if I was, uh, there's 12 disciples at the Last Supper. We're just going to nod our head and let her finish. Okay? All right. They literally feast on bread and drink the blood of Christ, a.k.a. wine. It's a celebration, Goofy. Christ has... Why are we talking about this? Um, everybody complimenting me on my outfit too. Hella cute. Don't worry about what I'm wearing and worry about why you're saying the N-word. God bless you. Now, Lyric, she said something. She said, look at this high yellow privilege little smut. What? <laughs> First of all, how do you know this girl is a smut? Two, she's not yellow. She's white. Okay, I don't think that's the same thing. Isn't smut like a hoe, a slut? Like, isn't... Anyway, then she said, in what universe do we look down on people for anything? Girl, you just call her high yellow. <laughs> what? This disqualifies you as a human being in general. For you to ever look down on any woman on this earth. Do you know how hard it is to be black on this planet? What does that... Okay, um, little white girl, go find your trailer park and return to it. The only reason you get casted uh, to that least network... Zeus is because you are a low budget, whatever. Now, I'm black, right? Uh, but what this lady just said was racist. I don't know if she went the racist route because apparently uh, Slim said the N-word. Like, is that why? But, like, what you just said, girl, was racist. You said, do we look down on people? But how you gonna say that after you just call her white trailer pop trash, basically? It's just kind of hypocritical, but okay. Then Slim responded to that, right? She said, see, this right here just shows that you're a racist because what did my skin color have to do with this? I love that, though. Point it out. I love the skin color I was blessed with uh, that my mama and black daddy gave me. I'm so very sorry you will never relate, but go off, sis. Hold on. Wait, what, cause what that mean? Why is... Wait, I'm... <laughs> hold the fuck up. So Slim is black and white, not just white. Also, the uh, my parents blessed me with this skin color. Sorry, you will never relate. What that mean? What that mean? Anyway, according to this blog, Slim also said, I wish these old BGC girls would shut the F up, always hating on Zeus, like go talk about VH1 and MTV. Why Zeus Network got y'all in a chokehold like this? I don't care how long ago you was on TV or if you an OG. I don't got no respect for y'all if people uh, don't disrespect the new generation of reality TV. Sorry, not sorry. Then Megan came in. She said, girl, shut up. How about you try staying relevant for 10 plus years like me and Natalie did? Then talk. Then Slim said, girl, worry about you. Ain't nobody asked you. All right, that's it. Um, This argument reminded me of the female rap community. Like how the newer girls got into it with Nicki Minaj a couple months ago. That's, that's what it's given if you ask me. Me personally, I don't like the racist comments that was said. It, it actually, like... That irritates my soul. I don't like racist shit. That gets, ooh, that get on my nerve. Now, what would be smart? If Zeus do like a little special, like Jubilee, you know how they be having like these split conversations? They need to have some Zeus girls, a baddies, and some bad girls club girls. You should do that, honestly. And if you do, pay me for that idea. I'm not playing. All right, that's it for this video. I'm sorry if this video is like extremely long. It probably not, but if it is, my bad. Now, if y'all found it somewhat interesting, please... Like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on. Thank you.